Hello and welcome to Microchip Technology. My name is Kevin Treader, Product Marketer with the Analog Division. We have received a lot of interest in Microchip's motor driver solutions and that will be the topic for today's discussion. I am pleased to have Brian Chu with me, Marketing Manager for Microchip's motor driver product line. Brian, thanks for being here. Thank you, Kevin. It's my honor to be here. Brian, our first question is in regard to the term KM that is used in the data sheets for Microchip's three-phase brushless DC fan drivers. What is the term KM? The KM that we use in data sheet is actually electromechanical coupling coefficient. It's also referred to as motor constant or back EMF constant. Depends on the naming conventions in use. Uh, the, there are differences between the manufacturers and depending on the way it's measured, they can be different. So how is KM measured? The KM that we have provided is actually measured between phase to phase. It's the peak voltage and uh, it's measured across the given time. Uh, so for example, the MCP8063 that we provided has a KM range between 21 millivolt per hertz to 50 millivolt per hertz. So what should a system designer do if the fan or motor stops within seconds after starting up or if it restarts frequently? There are a few areas to look into this issue. The first thing I would check will be make sure that if your device is uh, fall into the proper KM range. Uh, for example, if your uh, given value between phase to come and is provided, you can divide it by square root of three to have the same value of the phase to phase that we provided in the data sheet. Another area you can look into will be the make sure your device is not hitting the over current uh, range. So you can measure the uh, peak to peak current with the scope and make sure they are falling into our, our proper range of a motor driver. Uh, last thing you can take a look of uh, the system will be the thermal. Make sure your PCB has a proper copper and you can measure the temperature. So ensure that the, your system is not hitting the thermal shutdown conditions and our device will try to restart again. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, make sure your back EMF shape falls into a good sinusoidal wave so our driver can provide a best synchronize between the two. And finally, what are the advantages offered by Microchip's portfolio of motor drivers? In addition to our compactness, our drivers offers algorithm that optimized for the efficiency and acoustic performance. Great. Brian, thank you again for your time. Thank you, Kevin. For more information regarding Microchip's motor driver solutions, please visit www.microchip.com motor.